Rising sea levels. Intensifying storms. Eroding coastlines. Fluctuating temperatures and erratic weather patterns are now wreaking havoc. Hit the hardest are vulnerable small island nations in the Caribbean. Grenada, known as the Spice Island, is one of them. A country of just over 100,000 people, it's famous for boat building, nutmeg, and pristine beaches. Five years ago, Hurricane Ivan pounded the landscape for six hours straight. Crops were wiped out and homes ruined. I experienced, I experienced this with my mother already, yeah. when we were in school. With no major storms for 50 years, Grenadians grew complacent. They never expected Hurricane Ivan. We asked Philbert Andrews if he was scared during the storm. If, if, I, scared, if I was scared, if you put a plate of food in front of me, I couldn't eat it. Yeah, I'll own, I'll own. All of us were scared. Yeah. I'm not lying. Grenada lies south of the hurricane belt, but that's changing now. If there is global climate change, then the global positioning with regards to where, you are, where the hurricane belt is and where it's not <laughs> has to be, has to be um, reconsidered. This means countries once free from hurricanes like Grenada will experience more intense storms. Grenada's two major industries, tourism and agriculture, were devastated by Hurricane Ivan. During Ivan, the winds came down from the Grantang area and totally smashed up and eradicated the house. I had to leave and run across to my garage, which we now converted to the home. Not only did he lose his home, but plantation owner John Branch also lost 95% of his nutmeg crop. He lives in the capital city, St. George's. Every day he drives to his 600-acre estate, 40 minutes away, to manage his spice business. Grenada relies heavily on nutmeg for revenue, and Branch's estate produced more nutmeg than any other farm in the nation. Before Ivan, John's harvest fetched almost half a ton a week. Now he barely gets a tiny fraction of that. For real economic full production, it would take about maybe 10 to 13 years for a nutmeg tree to come into full bloom. While he waits for his nutmeg trees to mature, the little he reaps is sold to tourists. Well, it has a flavor. Yeah, yeah, it has the nutmeg flavor. His loss is a heavy blow for him and the country's economy. Despite this, the government of Grenada is encouraging farmers to begin replanting. But there's more to be done if Grenada is going to withstand the next storm. It must protect its ecosystems to minimize coastal erosion, especially mangroves, which act as barriers against the intrusion of sea water. Within my constituency, we've lost over three acres on one side and maybe another acre or two on another side. A project is now in full swing to revive the mangroves and coastal barriers have been constructed to hold the sea back. While the international community discusses ways to reduce greenhouse gases, small islands like Grenada are grappling with the impact of climate change on their economies. With UN Television, this is Mary Ferrer reporting for the CNN Worldview.